show that the complex number i is the root of the equation, find the other roots of this equation. To show that i is the root of the equation, we need just substitute i for x and show that it's zero. So let's consider i to the power of 4 minus 5i cubed plus 7i squared minus 5i plus 6 is. i squared is negative 1 by definition, hence i to the power of 4 is just 1 minus i cubed is uh, i squared, which is negative 1 by i multiplied by i, hence it's uh, negative i, so it's plus 5i plus or it's actually minus 7 because i squared is negative 1 minus 5i plus 6 and we can see that it's uh, 0 as required. How to find the other roots? Let denote uh, p of x be a given polynomial function x to the power of 4 minus 5x cubed plus 7x squared minus 5x plus 6. Uh, the first root is given, it's uh, i, and we know if some complex number is a root, a complex conjugate of this complex number is also a root, and the second root is negative i. And let's apply a remainder theorem, and if we know Two roots. Uh, a given polynomial can be represented as x minus i, x plus i multiplied by another polynomial function. And since uh, initial the initial polynomial is uh, of degree of four, and we can see x here, x here, so it's uh, of degree of two. Hence, uh, q must be Oh, uh, a polynomial of degree of, of uh, 2 and we can write general form of the polynomial of degree of uh, 2 as ax squared plus bx plus c and we need this quadratic polynomial and to find the other two roots we need just equate it to 0 and how to find uh, this quadratic polynomial the first way is to divide uh, p of x by x minus i and then by x plus uh, i. It's uh, quite easy using synthetic division. Or x minus i multiplied by x plus i, it's uh, x, x uh, squared plus 1 multiplied by ax squared plus bx plus c or divide p of x by x squared plus 1 using long division or in general we can open parentheses here and equate uh, terms containing the same power of x but uh, actually we don't need uh, full expansion which we, uh, we just can consider some terms so we can see that we can get x to the power of 4 only when x squared here is multiplied by term containing x squared here and uh, we can see that ax to the power of 4 should be equal to x to the power of 4 hence a is 1 and we can see that uh, we can get just a number 6 only when plus 1 is multiplied by 6. So 6 is equal to 1c. Hence c is 6. And to find b we can equate terms containing x and negative 5x is equal to and we can get uh, terms containing x only when 1 is multiplied by bx. So it's uh, bx, hence b is negative 5. So a required polynomial is x squared minus 5x plus 6. And 
we equate it to zero to find um, another two roots and uh, applying a sum and product uh, rule. Sum is uh, five product six and the third root is two and the fourth root is three. And that's all for this question.